45 minutes or hour or so. But uh, Bob, why don't you come on in and tell everybody what they're looking at right now in the center of the screen. It looks like a dot. Looks like a dot, but it's awfully close. I mean, this is getting scary. You know, it, it, these asteroids, once we started looking for them more and more, it's almost like maybe we shouldn't have started looking. It's kind of like a don't ask, don't tell kind of well, thing. This is, this is not going to hit the, the Earth, right? I mean, this is just sort of another wake-up call as opposed to, uh, to somebody charging. Right, quite right, uh, Jeff. But uh, the fact that it's only a few lunar diameters away, that's pretty close astronomically. I mean, this shows us that these asteroids are, especially the near-Earth uh, asteroids, uh, you know, they're everywhere. They're like deer ticks or those Hare Krishna people at airports. You know, they're, they're, you can't get away from them. Now that we're looking and we're starting to pay attention, and we'd better pay attention because now that we know how many there are, we don't want them to sneak up on us like Chel- Chelyabinsk last uh, February 15th and, uh, and hit us. that he was watching Planet X a few days ago. Now suddenly on the show he said that if people look, they'll, they'll see it's not there. So I think that check that you got from the, from the feds, from the federal government, Paul May. You didn't get it. yours? <laughs> Uh, that is actually making the news. I, I just came to see that uh, people think that in about a month we will be slammed into by a Planet X. So additional well, reason to... I don't get... Don't get people worried about that. Well, I, I, and no, I it's a reason that's... to join SLU because now you can look for it independently. We don't block the telescope except for certain parts of the sky, Paul, that Paul has started blocking. But other than Absolutely. that, <laughs> you can really point it anywhere you like. Well, and, Jen, uh, there, there's, there's a very real connection to what we're looking at tonight. This asteroid that we're looking at tonight, as you guys have already discussed, was discovered by the NEOWISE, the WISE Space Telescope. And in fact, very recently, I think it was only this year, earlier this year, that same telescope has been used to virtually rule out the existence of Planet X. They went for a specific hunt on it. And don't forget, this telescope, infrared telescope, it's designed to look for very dark, very cold objects. And by um, infrared, you mean it's, instead of looking for light, it's looking for heat? Uh, yeah, it's just looking for light at a different wavelength. Yes. Actually, a lot of people are, I won't say confused about it, Jeff, because that would be uh, not fair to you to say that, but there is actually a difference between infrared and heat. And it's uh, interesting enough to make the point, since the object we're looking at right now was discovered because of its infrared emissions. They are not analogous? No, they're not. Paul, as Paul pointed out, infrared is a form of light whose waves are just longer and less frequent than visible light. What it does when infrared waves hit your skin, it makes uh, the atoms on your skin vibrate or move, and it's the motion of the atoms, which is the heat. So it produces heat on an object that it hits, but it's not heat in and of itself because heat is, the, uh, is simply the movement of atoms and infrared it does not involve atoms itself. It involves electromagnetic energy, a form of light. Okay, and uh, we're going to...
Billion years ago, the solar system was a very, very violent place, and we believe that an, an object which we call Thea crashed into the early Earth, what we call the Proto Earth, in this massive, massive impact, this cataclysmic impact. Debris was hurled out, and that re accreted to form our moon. And what we've been looking for as scientists is actually the chemical fingerprints of Thea. There should be the chemical signature of Thea in the moon rocks. And people have been looking for this for a long time. And the scientists in Germany say that they think they found it. So we have here um, a couple of meteorites uh, from the collection. This first one, which is a small slice of a meteorite, is actually a meteorite from the moon. Um, there's about 130 of these uh, types of meteorite known on Earth. Um, so it's a very important sample because even studying a small part of this meteorite will actually give us a lot of information about the, uh, the composition of the moon and it's by studying moon rocks like this one although they actually the scientists actually studied Apollo samples um, by studying these in detail and looking at the composition of oxygen in these types of rocks uh, that the scientists in Germany believe that they have found the chemical fingerprints of the impacting Thea so this this body that impacted into the early earth about four and a half billion years ago